created by God, that God made you, God knew you even before you were born. God had a design for you. Your life on this planet, moving under us now, was preset by God, was designed by God. You may feel you're insignificant, you might think you are significant. But with God, everybody's significant. Each one of you has a destiny from God. It's created by God. The way to connect with God is straightforward, but controversial. Because God, is in his love for people, makes connecting with himself simple and straightforward. You can connect with God anytime you want. Have you ever had your phone signal go down and you can't phone a friend? Happens all the time. But with God, you being spiritual beings, and God being a spirit, the great spirit, the great creator, you can talk to God anytime you want. You can say, God, you can act cool around me today. You can say, God, I want to know you. Each one of you young lads was created by God for a special purpose in this life. You are not insignificant. You might think you're cool, you might think you're not cool. God has a design for you, even in, your, in this, these young bodies that you walk around in now. But the way to get to know God is simple and straightforward. The scriptures say you must believe on the one that he sent. Who is that one that he sent? He's called Jesus, that's right. Jesus, now who knows the story of Easter? Me. When that man was crucified on the cross. That's Jesus. Now Jesus, he died on that cross as a way of God showing his love for you. Even at a young age, you can understand this. When I was your age, kids, I used to pray to God. And I used to feel in my heart God heard me. If you want to know Jesus, you can ask him into your heart. It might not be a religion you're familiar with. But God's not about religion. He's about truth. You can say to Jesus, I'd like you to come into my heart. And then when that happens, you will make the connection with the creator of the universe. Amen. And what Jesus says is you can not only call him God, you can call him Father. He says, our Father, who art in heaven. Can you imagine the nicest dad in the whole world? That's what God's like. Thank you. Consider these words. You were meant to hear them, especially you. God has a special plan for your life. And you'll remember this. Because you've shown great courage. Amen. Because you are a courageous person. And you're a leader in your generation. And Jesus is calling you. Jesus died for you. Because you're not afraid to stand out from the crowd. If you want to follow Jesus, you will have to stand out from the crowd. Just like I am now. But he'll give you courage. Amen. All right, God bless you. That way to connect with God is exclusive. God is a God of straightforward communication. That's right. If you accept Jesus into your heart, you will know him. And you follow him all your days. I could stand here and tell you how many problems God could solve in your life. I could stand here and say he'll help you with this, he'll help you with that, and yes, he will. But really, it's about do you want to follow Jesus all your days? The world that we stand on was created by God. You didn't create it, I didn't create it. If you put your hand on your heart and you feel your heart beating, you don't control that heartbeat. I don't control that heartbeat. You can't even control your own breathing. For each one of us is here by divine permission and divine power. If you breathe, if your heart beats, God chose you to be here now, in 2023, listening to this geezer here with the hall in the dead of January. Do you think anything's a coincidence by God? You need to be here right now. Do you think I do this every day? No. 
times see people talking like me and I'd front them out and I'd act casual but I'd listen to what they were saying and I thought about it and I meditated on it because each one of us that heart that's beating that breath we're breathing one day will stop you don't know when your life ends any more than you knew when your life would begin each one of us when we breathe that final breath when we blink our last blink that's not the end that's not it you will stand before god just like i'm stood before this man here with his phone hey, ma'am and just as i'm looking at him here god will look at you and there will be one question above any other question that he will ask you he will say did you believe on the one that i sent that one that he sent is jesus it's a yes no question and there is a white door and there is a black door and i don't want you to go through the black door any more than i'd like to go through it myself but eternal separation from god the black door is real the white door is also real jesus says if you believe in me i'll go ahead of you and i'll prepare a place for you that's called heaven that place called out of darkness is h e double l and you were never meant to go there god doesn't want you to go there and you don't want to go there the only person who'll get you there is you if you reject jesus you will be in out of darkness i hate to break it to you but i love you enough to tell you the truth if you receive jesus and receive the forgiveness of your sins because we all sin you will walk through the white door and you will be with God forever no fear no anxiety no end to it forever and ever and ever and ever in eternity we are eternal beings somebody who's walked past here probably by the laws of averages i don't know cut the 100 people in this time somebody will be dead of those people this year so these things are serious and they're important and if you are serious about your life you will take yourself seriously and you will take god seriously if you want to know god it's the most natural impulse in the world it is natural and authentic movement of the human heart to want to know the creator there is nothing more splendid, more magnificent. Look at the intricacy of things. Even if a even if a small insect walked onto your hand now, the intricacy, the excellence, the magnificence of that creation. The Bible says God made the world so complex as to prove that there was a creator and to bedazzle you. That's why programs like David Attenborough and stuff like that, they dazzle us, they amaze us, because God loves to amaze people, because he's bigger and better than us. But the good news is God not is only superior to us, but he likes you. He loves you, wants to get to know you. And you, by nature, would love to get to know God if you gave it a chance. It's like any relationship. Have you ever wanted to get together with somebody and you thought if they could just get to know the real me 
That's what God's like towards people. And that's what people can be like towards God. If you get to know God, you'll know the real you and you'll get to know the real God. And you will like it. And once you've tasted and felt that, you will not want to go back. Don't believe the hype. You might see on the papers what you see all the time. Vickers running off with the, with the funds. People are priests abusing kids, whatever. You don't see or hear about the miracles that I've seen. You don't hear or see about the curing of diseases and the healing of sickness. That man there was just healed of pain in his body Amen. because the power of God is real. I've experienced it myself. I've seen hundreds of healings. And you know what? I didn't once see it in the papers. I didn't once see it in the news. It depends what you want to see. If you reach out for God, the Bible says he's not far from any one of us. He says he's put you on this earth that you might reach for him. And if you seek God with all your heart, you will find him. The reality of God is there all the time. If people say they don't believe in God, or they write a book saying there's no God, doesn't make God any less real. It would be as ridiculous as trying to say, I'm not here talking to you now. You can walk past and pretend you're not listening. That's fine, I've done it myself. I've heard geezers like me talking like me, and I've acted casual and drifted past, but I pondered what they were saying in my heart because the truth of it hit me. And when I met Christians, I thought they've got something I ain't got. They got a connection with the man upstairs, the most wonderful, loving dad in the universe. So when I blew that show far, it was to make a sound. Because have you ever been to the pub? And they call last orders. That's the first bell. You see, the Bible says that when Jesus comes back to the earth, it'll be to judge the living and the dead. The show's over. There'll be no chance to choose. So when we blow the shofar, it's like the first bell. It's like when the barman says, the barman says, last orders at the bar. We are in that point. You are in that point. Last orders has been called. There's still a chance to get to the bar. There's still a chance to get the drink. I'm talking metaphorically. There's still a chance to get to God. He hasn't called time on this world. He hasn't called time on this life. You don't know when your life begins. You don't know when your life ends. The longer you leave it, the harder it will get to connect. Don't be deceived. The Bible says don't harden your heart. If you resist God, your heart hardens a little. If you move closer to God, your heart softens a little. It's like any relationship. Do you know, most relationships break down by lack of communication and misunderstanding. This world is in a serious state of misunderstanding and lack of communication with the Creator. But you can change that. And you can be an individual who says, I don't care which way the world goes, I want to know God. The highest and the deepest experience of life and who you are is by knowing your Creator. You want to come to talk to us or pray with us? Don't miss a moment. We won't get too weird with you, but we'll share faith with you. If you've heard me speak, I believe you were meant to be here right now and hear it. One of God's love languages is coincidence. It's a setup. I do this very rarely, and it wasn't planned. So if you're here now, yes, you were meant to hear it. God bless. I'll see you again on the other side.